parallels are being drawn between what happened in Madhya Pradesh to what is happening in Rajasthan today. In terms of the political crisis that is brewing, let's look at the two sides. To what extent are they similar and where are the differences? Well, to begin with, yes, the two situations are very similar. We have heard it said that the same script that happened in Madhya Pradesh is playing out in Rajasthan. Here is another young leader, a prominent face of the Congress party, a young dynamic leader that the youth identifies with, has rebelled against his own state leadership. Exactly how it happened in Madhya Pradesh as well with Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, uh, you know, taking up the cudgels against Kamal Nath. The second important uh, similarity, of course, is that it is a case of the old guard versus the new guard in both cases. Very clearly, the older and the senior leader feeling threatened and insecure that a younger face is trying to rise up the ranks, trying to grow in rank and profile and match up. Whereas the younger leader, of course, also feels threatened uh, and also feels claustrophobic, not getting the space to grow in power and prominence, feels sidelined and overshadowed by the chief minister of the state. It happened in both the cases, in Madhya Pradesh and then again in Rajasthan. The third most important similarity in both cases, the top leadership failed to act in time. Fissures were visible right from the beginning. We know Jyotiraditya Sindhya was livid on a number of occasions. No effort made to placate him or address the issue or nip the evil in the bud. And therefore, the storm blew over. And same thing in Rajasthan again. Sachin Pilot had on a number of occasions uh, made it clear that he's not getting along with Mr. Gaylord. It was a worst kept secret in Rajasthan, yet nothing was done to address uh, the problems faced between the two leaders in the state. But then the similarities end there. The differences are many. Rajasthan is a very different kettle of fish. It is a very different dynamic that is now playing out in the state. Well, to begin with, Mr. Sachin Pilot does not have the requisite number of MLAs to bolster his bargaining power that he can threaten Mr. Ashok Gelo. That was not the case with Jyoti Raditya Sindhya. He had the comfortable numbers. Enough number of MLAs broke away from the Congress party for the government in uh, Madhya Pradesh to topple. So that was the kind of effect that Sindhya's exit had. Similar effect is not being seen in Rajasthan. The second point of difference, and this is again extremely important, is that Mr. Ashok Gehlot is not as helpless as Mr. Kamal Nath was. He's able to guard his flock, he's able to arrest attrition, and he's on the offensive. He's keeping up the heat on Mr. Pilot. He wants to invoke the anti defection law. He now wants to even get back some MLAs from the pilot camp, even though he has at this point enough number of MLAs to be above the majority mark. And the third important point of difference is, and this is again extremely interesting, is that even within the BJP, there isn't the kind of consensus that we saw in earlier cases, at least with Vasundha Raja Sindhya now uh, in some ways giving out indication that she's not too comfortable with Mr. Sachin Pilot joining the ranks in the Rajasthan BJP, especially if he has chief ministerial ambitions. So those are interesting differences and we'll have to wait and see how things work out. But definitely Rajasthan is going to be a longer drawn battle. In the case of Madhya Pradesh, things got wrapped up uh, in practically two weeks because Mr. Sindhya was uh, reinstated, suitably rewarded for switching sides given the position of a member of parliament. And here very comfortably, Mr. Shivraj Singh Chauhan was uh, reappointed the chief minister of uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh. But the same thing cannot happen here simply because Sachin Pilot again has made it clear that he is not going to join the BJP and he wants Mr. Gehlot removed. So there are many complications. This in that sense is a very different situation. Thanks for watching Two Sides with Afrida.